Hey, data fans, Reed here. Today, I want to talk to you about how to leverage ChatGPT to actually render various SVG visualizations inside of the table or matrix visuals in Power BI. Now, I've seen a few people such as Brian Julius and a few others that I'll link you down to in the description who've talked about this on LinkedIn and others where we've had for a few years now the ability to create long SVG charts row by row to render with a DAX measure inside of a visualization like you can, you can see in front of you here inside of matrix or table visuals. Now, normally you used to have to write these kind of by scratch and no SVG code a bit, but with a few basic prompts, you can actually render these off of just providing ChatGPT an image and then asking it to write the code for you with a couple of small iterations to get a chart that you'd like. So I'd like to be able to walk you through how to create that in Power BI. So let's go ahead and get started. So the final result that we have in front of us here is one that I wanted to create, which was one that had some gradients inside of it, as well as two uh, bars on the side to create a dumbbell char with a data label that also actually scales. And then even appropriately, if I move this over, it actually places them in the right location without cutting them off. This one did take me a few iterations with ChatTBT to get to it, but the end result is pretty good. At a very basic level, what I created over here to start with was just one of these, a basic range plot, which is simply showing the range between the min and the max wage. I even gave it a prompt just to have a bit of fun with all of the job title labels over here, just to add a little bit of flavor to this. But any of these can all be, again, completely generated using ChatGBT. So what we'll start with next is I'm going to go ahead and open a image file to show you the one that I want to make. And we're going to walk through how I got to this point with ChatGPT with some of these. And we'll go through the exercise together from this starting point here. So this is going to be the image that I'd like to give to ChatGPT and say, hey, given the data that I have, please create an SVG with this design style. We can quite literally copy this out and paste it into ChatGPT with a prompt. So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to open up ChatGPT over here and get that up for us. Let's go ahead and get this one up. There we go. And now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to paste. And now I'm going to give it a prompt to essentially ask it to generate this image based off of the data that I'm also going to provide a screenshot of. OK, so I'm essentially going to walk through the prompts that I gave ChatGPT. And again, this is sometimes hit or miss depending on exactly the types of prompts and the quality of the questions. You might have to give it a few additional prompts to get it right. But basically, as you can see, I provided the image that I'd like to create and the data itself. So basically just asking it to say, hey, here's the image that I am inspiring to make in SVG. Here's the table out of it. And it gave me an initial value. However, this initial version didn't work. So I mentioned that the code provided didn't do it. I would provide it a block of code from a previous one that I've built in the past that has a little bit of the working code specifically in here. I've noticed that it has, it has a tendency not to include this, which calls upon like the public SVG library in there. So I gave it this code, asked it to essentially provide me an update based off of that, and it updated the code once again. Again, this is just generating within 30 or 60 seconds, mentioning the changes it made. And However, what I found that it did on that initial version is it essentially made it look like the other chart. So I gave it one final prompt saying, hey, the code is now working. Please, though, make sure it looks like this chart. So let me show you here. This is the first one that it gave me that was working. So I'm going to copy this out, go over to Power BI. Here we are. So this is the first code that it gave me that was working. We do find that it is rendering in here. However, it essentially was looking like this first chart that I created the code that I gave it that was working. So it made it look too much like that code in this case. So I once again, flip back to ChatGBT. So I basically said, yes, it's working now, but please ensure that it looks like this. So I gave it another prompt, gave it an image saying, please adjust to make it look like that. So we're gonna copy this, pop back to Power BI with the modified code to see what it looked like with the revision. Now this newer code is getting closer. That essentially looks like the chart that I wanted. However, I didn't like the fact that these were sticking above or below. So very quick and agile iterations. We're going to go back and ask it for one more prompt. So I said very close. However, the edges are a little bit bigger. I want all of these to be evenly spaced. It gave me another block of code to accommodate that. I'm going to copy that, paste it into Power BI. Very quickly started making it a lot closer. The bar is the correct size, but now it's sitting too far on the bottom. So let's give it one final prompt. 
Again, noticing I took a screenshot, basically just said, looks good. However, the bar seems to be bottom aligned. And I even misspelled bar. I put mar. It still understood what I was saying and gave me one final piece of updated code. Let's go ahead and try this last one. Pasting this in, let's go ahead and collapse this. That's the final thing that I was looking for. It's basically the exact size that I wanted to be able to pull into here. And it looks nearly identical to the visual that I wanted. And it took me five minutes and a couple of prompts, a little suggestions, and I just gave it screenshots. I didn't touch a single block of this code. And honestly, I, I'm okay with SVG. I can figure out and stumble around in this, but this could have taken me hours easily to do this. Uh, and yes, with these, they often have to be kind of anchored to the data in the visual, but super easy to generate these and then put them into a visualization. So I just love the fact that I can so easily make these now. And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could ask it to scoot the text a little further away. If I needed it to move the, uh, the data labels down by a few pixels, it could probably help me with that. It's really good about taking these and rewriting the code for you with that. So that's my encouragement with this. And again, thank you to Brian Julius for the inspiration on the LinkedIn um, post that he created that talked about how to do this. But it is so easy now, at least with ChatGPT 4.0, to be able to generate those and it writes the measures in the SVG to work pretty well for most situations and save you a lot of time with this. So I'm very happy with how easy it is to generate those or the dumb build visuals. So basically anything that you can find online that you can screenshot works very well to apply within here. So hopefully it's something that can inspire you to maybe adapt some of this and just start playing a bit more with uh, ChatGBT and giving it some prompts to get these. So as always, Feel free to drop some comments down below if you have any thoughts or questions, ideas for a future video. Love to hear from you. As always, check out some of my related content here in the upper left. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share these videos with the community. It helps to continue to let my channel grow um, and get more viewers like you. So with that being said, I'll see you next time.